When we read a story, we inhabit it. She, more than anything else in the world, loved the moment when you finished a book and the story keeps playing like the most vivid dream in your head. You live on your own, don't you? You've just moved into the old house. Yes, I'm the one opening the little bookshop. <laughs> Many of us are not at all convinced by the sudden transformation of the old house into a shop. You do understand, don't you? Dear madam, no one has plucked up courage enough to sell books in this forsaken coin of the world. My first customer. He so jealously guards his privacy after the tragic death of his beloved wife. You can't manage this place by yourself. You don't really look old enough. Or strong enough. You look old, but you don't look strong. Things have taken quite a dip in your business of late, haven't they? She's a very powerful woman. Does that not concern you? No. Many of us believe it should be a local art centre. She wants to get rid of you and she won't stop. She can't do that. It's my bookshop. It's my home. Leave her alone. The woman's done nothing to you. But you mustn't speak to me that way. I could just put a bullet through her. <laughs> There's a possible buyer for your shop. The shop is not for sale. Surely you have to succeed if you give everything you have. I've only done what I felt was right. You make me believe once more in things, things I, <laughs> I thought forgotten. Well, there's life, there's hope. Oh, God, what a horrifying thought.